All right, Victor here again, RestoreMercedes.com. This is part seven, I believe, for throttle body installation now. So uh, as in previous video, I put these screws in, I fed the gasket from underneath. We have a little linkage here sitting um, with a little magnet. You do want this linkage to sit on top versus installing throttle body and have this linkage fall down. It's hard to retrieve. I removed my zip tie from here, uh, vacuum holes, I still have there sitting which I'm going to reattach later and right now we're actually going to go for a very important and very scary part of this job is that infamous return spring can't find it where is it it's there I can just see it on the on the camera oh there it goes right there as you can see right here so I'm going to set the camera down on good angle so well, as good as I could, I guess, just to show how I could attach the spring. All right, so now first we retrieve the spring. Okay, it's a, actually a really good practice to have the spring attached with something so it does not disconnect from behind. So what I do is I actually pull on it. Ow, 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 ow. My finger got stuck in it a little bit. Come on now. Okay, so here I pull it out. And very good practice to have some sort of channel locks or something. It's very difficult. The camera is here on the way and everything. So. Make sure under any circumstances, do not make the spring shoot back. If it shoots back, very very high chance of this piece to really dislodge itself that's going to be a disaster so I set this piece down so it's not on the way and now I'm going to try to latch it on oh no see that's what I mean if it shoots out like this oh thank god if it shoots out like this there's a big chance of the spring being lost and if it dislodges right now, disconnects, it's gonna spend me quite a few hours to actually get this thing back. So as you can see, I have this pick right here that I'm trying to work the spring down. Let's just first set it down onto this ball. It has to go on the bottom piece. Okay, so I grab the spring with my hand, with my fingers inside and continue feeding it down lower I'll let go for a second it's very freaking thing it's ridiculous well I'm gonna use some channel locks for this get this thing in there it's actually gonna be nice if I would use if I would use needle noses, but I don't have needle noses with me right now. So I'm gonna have to deal with it as is. Okay. And this is the messed up part of the job. But it is what it is. To do it. And having that it's some film, obviously that takes the camera is in my way. Okay, as I set it down there for now. This is the scarier part. 
with a screwdriver you can move it forward and now lower it down and now the spring is in place thank god as you can see i fed that, fed that spring on now we're gonna feed the linkage as you can see it returns now we're going to feed the linkage on if you can find a spot for it it's because it is also a very limited spot here to get linkage on Maneuver it a little bit. So the ball will have to go down slightly so it latches on. This piece. This. Okay. So we're gonna do. I'm gonna try to move it like this. There we go. So, oh. No, I can't. Very limited room, unfortunately. So. You have to do anything you can to get this thing on but the spring came out all right so I'm really happy with that outcome so next is the linkage so here we have it hey give me my okay the linkage is in place linkage is in place we're good to go as you can see it was nice and free on that little ball I didn't want to put any kind of lubrication on it just in case it falls off I don't want that I'm gonna spray it later but not now first we want to test the car I want to test the car make sure it runs everything's fine with the unit so we're good to go on this okay now so actually while we add it we have that vacuum to connect so let's do it now vacuum hose it goes here this is self-explanatory this I don't have to show that much of what I'm doing basically I'm getting this hose tightened up in previous video you can see how I removed the holes so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to I just gonna I make it loose right now so as you can see it moves I'm gonna tighten it up to its mounting points there's one over here there's one over here it uses 10 millimeter bolts so we're gonna tighten that up so we don't tighten the whole holes, everything with it, and find out that we cannot put these bolts in it no more. So I'm going to do so right now. Again, try to not move too much the wiring harness. This harness was replaced so I can move it around, that's not a big deal. But on older cars, that harness, where harness is original, you don't really want to move harness 
too much try to do as easy as you can on it this harness was built in 99 so it's a replacement unit um, so I'm gonna tighten this hose up right here Okay, and another one on top there, and here is another one, you don't have to go too crazy, but that's good enough, that's good enough, okay, now when that one is tight, you want to tighten up the bolt down there, and, and the, the nut rather, not up here, not down there. Those are these big ones. These are 19s, 19 millimeter bolt, 19 millimeter, and the low one is 17. This is just to hold it so you don't break it. So I'm gonna tighten this big one right now. This is important holes. This is your brake booster. So you do want to make sure that you don't forget to do so because it's gonna leak vacuum. Your brakes, you can lose your brakes. You don't want that. Okay, so this is good, and then this one, I'm going to tighten them up a little bit to double check them after all, so that is good for now, but I will double, you know, usually I would suggest people doing it, but because I'm filming, I can't really do it with two hands, I need to do it, so therefore, I just tighten them up with one hand as much as I can, when I put the camera down, then I will obviously re-tighten it, okay. The next step we have here, we have the throttle body itself has this little piece here. It's a kind of a retainer, which we don't have no more, I'm sorry. It's a little retainer that goes under there. So it's missing, so I'm gonna go without it. Right now, I'm thinking of doing is um, I'm thinking of putting these bolts in for the harness at least to to make it hold on a little bit okay this one it's right here so let's see if I can tighten this up a little more I try to do things so I don't come back to them because again because I'm filming it's not easy so, okay. this you don't have to go crazy it's just it's just something that holds this plastic harness together so it doesn't flop around when you drive okay and it's done now a vacuum hose and electrical connector um, well firstly we want to do our vacuum hose connection which is this one now this is a new hose this is an old hose this is very very brittle so you want to not you don't want to break the connector and as I showed in my other videos like how I removed it probably a little bit of lubrication would have not hurt but because the hose is new I can totally put it on, as you can see, it came on nice, and it stays nice, nice and tight, that's good. So throttle body wiring, this is the throttle body wire loop, it goes there, as you can see this is a rebuilt throttle body that I rebuilt for a customer, so we're going to feed the loom around. Basically, is the loom it goes underneath there and uh, there around. It actually, should have went over here, but we don't have a retainer, so I'll leave it there. Um, it goes, follows around, follows around, plugs into the plug. You want to make sure that you push it all the way, all the way. Make sure this thing closes, snaps, closes. 
So here we have it perfect. That's really good. I'm going to find a couple of pair places where I can zip tie it to. And as of right now, the way it is, in reality, I can start the car. It's going to connect this host temporarily and see what we got. And then I'm going to attach the mass airflow sensor and I'm going to um, I'm going to clear all the codes, which I have to do it anyhow. Oh yeah, the linkage situation. Here, you have to have a little bit of play. This linkage seems to be quite tight. So I'm going to loosen this. Oh wait, because I pressed. Okay, I'm sorry. I have my gas pedal prepped right now because I was testing these throttle bodies. So I'm going to I'm going to remove that little prep. As you can see, I prepped the gas pedal so the linkage became a little too tight. So let's get the linkage adjusted. Make sure it's nice and free. See that? There we have it. It needs lubrication badly, so I'm going to. You're supposed to have over here. Linkage has to move freely backwards. This linkage is very tight because it's it's it's, it's just completely dry. So here we have very nice movement. All right. So now, make sure it's all clear around the car. Everything seems to be clear, 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 clear. My T, my T on the side somewhere. Just wanted to start the car and see what happens. Here are the keys. And let's go and do this. Take this, put it back here. Now this car doesn't have ASR lights. Somebody removed them. ASR and ABS light, they're gone, which I will have to reinstall back into the cluster. But we should be able to accelerate this car. There should be some codes in the car stored right now at the moment. You can see ASR lights don't, it doesn't show up, show up at all. Oh, the car runs, nice. RPMs go up. Well, it's very healthy to me. We don't have mass airflow sensor, don't forget that. So the car will run with some delay. But acceleration seems to be just fine. It doesn't uh, give you safety fuel cutoff. Pretty good. And that's auxiliary air pump. Accelerates, decelerates perfectly fine. No problems here. It's gonna warm up. I'm gonna put mass airflow sensor, get rid of check engine light, put ABS ASR lights on, and uh, we'll be nice. See, once it's warmed up a little bit, it accelerates nicer. Now, I'm not gonna run it for too long because I still have to work around under the hood, but. If you remember before, the car would just not raise RPMs. All right, good to go. Let's put it back together. Let's put the mass airflow back on.